a standing ovation from colleagues, but the Treasurer knows his real audience, and that's the millions battling a housing crisis. New South Wales needs more homes. More homes for renters, more homes for key workers, more homes in the neighbourhoods people love living in. The government's earmarked 44 surplus sites that it already owns to make way for up to 30,000 new homes. About two-thirds will be built by private developers for the private market, with about 500 set aside for affordable housing for frontline workers. There's $5.1 billion over four years to develop 8,400 new social homes and another $1 billion for maintenance. The biggest single investment in social housing any New South Wales government has made in the Federation's history. Yeah. The government's also spending $190 million over four years supporting GPs. They'll get a waiver on retrospective payroll tax changes and they'll get a tax rebate if they meet bulk billing criteria. Sydney GPs will have to bulk bill 80% of patients. In the rest of the state, it'll be 70%. In New South Wales, what we see is more GPs moving to private billing because of the cost of living, because of our increased expenses, out of a rate of about 2 to 5 per cent a year. So what they're trying to do is just to stop that slide. But the opposition says the picture for hospitals is far less healthy. We've seen emergency department waiting times blow out. We've seen fewer elective surgeries being undertaken, all because the government is cutting spending in real terms on health. The government's banking close to $10 billion of extra revenue from things like land tax and stamp duty, but not even that can get the budget back in the black. Net debt is growing, albeit at a slower rate than previously forecast, and there'll be another four years of deficits that the government's blaming on the GST carve-up. I'm not going to slug New South Wales families or businesses because the Commonwealth Grants Commission slugged New South Wales. He says he's putting family budgets before his own. Nick Dole, ABC News, Sydney.